بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس السلام علیکم اینڈ ویلکم ٹو آفس ڈاٹ کام ڈاٹ پی کے ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس پریویسلی وی ور ڈسکسنگ اباؤٹ مائٹوسس اینڈ وی ڈسکسڈ ان ڈیٹیل اباؤٹ دا فیزز آف مائٹوسس ہاؤ اٹ بگنس ہاؤ اٹ کنٹینیوز اینڈ ہاؤ اٹ اینڈس اینڈ وی اسٹڈی دا ڈفرینسز بٹوین مائٹوسس آف این اینیمل ایز ویل ایز آف اے پلانٹ سیل سو ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس واٹ از دا امپورٹینس آف مائٹوٹک ڈویژن in living organisms so the importance will be covered in the form of five points i will discuss them one by one so number one is genetic material remains constant in daughter cells So this is the first point that genetic material will remain constant in daughter cells. This is because there is no crossing over or recombination. and because there is no crossing over and recombination there is no chance of any kind of change in the genetic material okay so genetic material will be constant in the daughter cells the second point is that there is no variation no change and hence no evolution no variation no change and hence no evolution so you can fairly understand and relate the previous point that when there is going to be no crossing over or no recombination ultimately the whole genetic makeup will remain same from generation to generation and ultimately there will be no evolution so there will be a continuity of similar information and the saving or the protection of genetic information will be ensured in the daughter cells now the third point is mode of asexual reproduction there are certain organisms that reproduce asexually and in those organisms those organisms can be plants or animals so they undergo asexual reproduction and hence they use mitosis in addition to asexual reproduction regeneration we have discussed the process of regeneration in detail in the previous chapters so the process of regeneration the healing of wounds and replacement of older cells this all comes under the heading of mitosis it means that when animals and plants they need to reproduce asexually they need to regenerate any lost body organ or they need to heal their wounds or they need to replace older cells they're all because of mitosis so overall the development and growth both because uh, 
reproduction is related to development and these other phenomena are related to growth so development and growth of multicellular organism depends on controlled phenomena of mitosis this should be kept in mind that mitosis should be controlled otherwise everything every phenomena that goes uncontrolled in your body will result in certain harmful situations which we will discuss in the next video so the next point is that there are certain biotechnological techniques like tissue culture and cloning so these genetic engineering techniques or biotechnological techniques they also depend on mitosis because they are the asexual mode of reproduction reproducing the organisms of your desired qualities so they depend upon mitosis the next important point is adequate amount of cells mitosis is involved in growth and development so if the process of mitosis is uncontrolled or it is not managed then it will lead to unwanted tumors any malfunction or lethal diseases that we name as cancer but when they are controlled they ensure that the body gets the adequate amount of cells that are needed for example if the height increase by 1 inch requires 20000 cells then mitosis should be controlled in such a way that only 20000 cells are produced and all of them are mature enough to increase the height by 1 inch if that does not happen the cells that are formed will be immature they will be rapidly dividing and they will result in cancer situations so this was all about the importance of mitosis in the next video we will discuss about cancer which is nothing but uncontrolled cell division till then take care of yourself keep studying allah hafiz